Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I talked recently about a guy pretending to be a cop who's a tow truck driver. And if you go onto YouTube and type in fake cop or impersonating cop, you'll find all kinds of videos out there of people pretending to be cops who got busted because they interacted with real police. And uh, it's actually fascinating because there's a famous case out of Michigan where a fake cop actually encountered the real sheriff of Oakland County, Michigan, which is the county I grew up in. And the real sheriff asked the man, so, you know, who are you? What department do you work for? And the guy goes, I'm a sheriff's deputy. The guy goes, that's interesting. I'm the sheriff. <laughs> so you got to be careful who you're pulling over when you're pretending to be a cop because here's a story several people sent me from Fox News out of Michigan. <laughs> Michigan man charged with impersonating police after pulling over actual cop. I mean, if you pull over just regular people, that's one thing. But if you pull over a cop, you better know what you're doing. Because the Michigan man was driving around with flashing red and blue police lights. And he was charged with impersonating a police officer. And by the way, in case you don't know this, and some people apparently don't, it is actually against the law to put red and blue lights on your vehicle and activate them. Uh, and so that's a problem. I mean, it's an actual law. So you can look it up if you want to. It's going to be on the books in your state. In Michigan, it's in the blue books behind me. Sarah Rumpf wrote this for Fox News. A Michigan man was caught red-handed after he was seen flashing red and blue police lights and impersonating a police officer, attempting to pull over a real off-duty police officer in a fake traffic stop. So if, <laughs> if you're up pulling people over and you're not a cop, the last thing you want to do is pull over a real cop. Because they might take that personally. So the man is 18 years old uh, of Macomb Township. He was darting around in a silver BMW with flashing red and blue lights. And the Oakland County Sheriff's Office issued a press release describing this. Now, I'm unaware of any department in Michigan using uh, BMWs as their patrol cars. But when you see those flashing lights, you pull over because you don't know. Maybe they've got one. Who knows? Around 11 o'clock that night, uh, the man's alleged uh, to have pulled up behind an off-duty Waterford Township police officer in Rochester Hills. So Waterford Township is at one end of Oakland County, sort of, and Rochester Hills is the other way. They're quite a distance apart, so I'm not sure what the Waterford Township police officer off-duty would have been doing over in Rochester Hills. But, of course, she's just driving around because she was off duty. She said the man passed her and she was suspicious when he pulled her over. So she introduced herself and then she asked the man, what precinct do you work for? And do you have any identification? Because he wasn't wearing a police officer's uniform. So he then is alleged to have said that he was a Detroit police officer with the 12th precinct. Now, <laughs> Detroit, as you might know, is not in Oakland County. It's in Wayne County. So if he's out in the wrong county pulling people over, that would be a problem also. But it does show you that there's somehow a disconnect with his understanding of how police work. Because a police officer from Detroit's 12th precinct would not be up in Rochester pulling people over for traffic violations. He then, they say, had no intention of returning with, a, with his identification. They said he went back to his vehicle and then just drove away. So the off-duty officer chased after him and followed him into a neighborhood in Shelby Township, which is also in Macomb County. Deputies later found the vehicle and the man, and when they found him, he was switching the license plates to another BMW he owned, according to the release. Uh, he was arrested after a short foot chase. So again, a passive language. I've talked about this before. If we wanted to write this better, we would say that as, a poli you know, as police approached, they observed him switching the license plates to another vehicle. And when he saw them, he ran for it. And they chased him down and caught him. So he's been charged with a misdemeanor and arraigned in 52-3 District Court, a court I've been in many times. Uh, police said that he's released on a $5,000 bond. Uh, and the uh, sheriff's office said... Individuals that pose as police officers present a threat to the public and undermine legitimate law enforcement, Oakland County Sheriff's Office Michael Bouchard said. Thankfully, this individual is caught as being held accountable for the incident. Now, here's the fun part. The sheriff said that this may not have been the first time he ever did this. And, and generally speaking, when they catch somebody doing something, it's often not the first time they did it, okay? 
So they are asking anybody who has encountered someone pretending to be a cop in a BMW with the red and blue flashing lights in Oakland County, maybe out in that area, to please contact the Oakland County Sheriff's Office. They'd like to know about it. Because if he's done it to other people, they'd like to know about it. And maybe they can, uh, maybe they can work something out with those charges and make them expand. <laughs> Which would be interesting. And so the crazy part about this is that I would have thought these are such isolated incidents that, yeah, this, this is bizarre that this happens. But as I pointed out earlier, there was an earlier episode involving the Oakland County Sheriff himself being pulled over by a fake cop. And if you go onto YouTube and type in fake cop or impersonating cop, you'll find all these stories, including there's a famous guy out of Florida who's on a motorcycle that's all kitted out, as they say, with, with police stuff. And he routinely would pull people over in traffic. And people got him on camera. And they've also, you know, gotten his camera footage from his own stuff. And he's out in traffic screaming and yelling and, and telling people he's a cop and acting like a cop. And was getting away with it for the longest time. And there actually is footage on YouTube of people yelling at him, dude, you're not even a real cop. And he's yelling back, don't you worry about what I am. And it's like, no, if you're not a cop, you can't tell me how to behave in traffic, and you can't pull me over. And he'd pull up next to people and start screaming at them, pull over, pull over, with his lights on. And I think that when you yell at somebody to pull over, and you've got police lights on your vehicle, you're pretending to be a cop. And so <laughs> it turns out that that's a crime. And what would prompt someone to do this? I don't know. Because he pulls this woman over, and she's a cop. Now, I don't know if he's just out hitting on women. This is a bad pickup technique. I don't know. But what's the end game, as they say? Is he going to walk up to her and say, let me see your driver's license, proof of registration? Give me some money. Maybe the ticket won't get written. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I was actually thinking about this. Why would you do this? And I suppose some people might do this for kicks because they're just bored or they want some excitement in their life. I don't know. Uh, or, like I said, maybe they think that they pull a woman over and she's, you know, single and maybe they can convince her that hey i won't write the tick if you go out with me <laughs> grandma how'd you meet grandpa well he was pretending to be a cop one night <laughs> and he pulled me over at a time in my life when i was feeling very very needy <laughs> and i and i really thought hey this is kind of cool it's a police officer he's got a stable a stable job and upstanding citizen and so instead of writing me a ticket i went on a date with him when did you find out he wasn't a cop? <laughs> I mean, seriously, I can't imagine that that's what that's all about. But if you've got a better idea, I'm all ears. I'm not saying that there's a good excuse for what he's doing. I'm just wondering what his thought process was. Because occasionally you'll see that in life where somebody does something that appears to be pretty dumb. And you ask yourself, well, why would they do that? What, what you know, I mean, if, if somebody robs a bank at least i go well they're, they're doing it for the money i'm, I'm guessing right <laughs> why do you pretend to be a cop and pull people over i mean is it just the thrill of doing something exciting and and i i, I just i i don't know it just it just seems very strange to me especially when you see how widespread it is so it's a crazy story out of michigan from fox news michigan man pulled over an actual cop and he's now been charged with impersonating a police officer. And he's driving around with flashing red and blue lights on his BMW. <laughs> Ken, Mike, John, Dave, and Nicholas all sent it. Thanks a lot. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Leto's Law. Solitude is the soul's holiday.